Good morning and welcome to today's video. Welcome to day 17 of bikepacking across Australia. Today we're starting a ride in Winningie and we're riding down the coast for 240 k's. It's going to be a long, long day. Uh, looking at our wind app, it's headwind, of course. We ate so much food last night, we're feeling very recovered, pretty positive. There's a shit ton of birds here, a ridiculous amount, and pelicans. Did I sleep well? Yeah. I actually did. Good you know why I slept well? Because you had the massive. <laughs> this, this is the bed that Chris had. This is the bed that I had. The first, when's the first stop today? 100, 140 k's in. 140, 150k's in. That's what I'm carrying bread with me. No, mine, my friend. Mm. But, Just in case we get stranded. Do you know what there is in that stop? A massive lobster. Pro tip for a ride this long, turn off the bit that says how far you've got to go. Just cracks you, doesn't it? So we've been laughing at the sign for the last 30k. Are we delirious? Well, it's a pee pee sign. You've got to go, you've got to go. Well, I'm not sure what's going on with all these weird layers. Difficult one to dress for today, to be honest. Yeah, it is. Had a Coke bottle malfunction. Look. Fell off. It may or may not explode now in your face. Worse. So about 70 k's into the ride now, feeling pretty good. Road is absolutely amazing. We have this like huge estuary to the right of us. So it looks great. It's also super quiet, not many cars. Probably being overtaken once every half hour or so. Really, really good. We're now inside a national park as well. So it's super clean. The amount of litter over the last few days and in the Nullarbor as well. A bit horrible to see. A lot of k's to go. Chris, gravel. Yay. Go on, gravel. Let's do it, let's do it. Can you see it? I'm there. It's not a cyclist, it's an orange. Hey. The cyclist had a blanket in his mouth. I'm not sure what that was. I think he was riding in slippers as well. But you know, they're comfortable. Snake. You gotta do what you gotta do. What is he carrying? A worm? Yeah. Snake carrying a worm. Oh yeah. They look like Australian ants that are gonna bite us. Yeah, we're in Australia, everything kills you, doesn't it? <sighs> Stuck. Holy shit. That is big. Is he bigger than uh, Derek? Yeah. No, same size, same scale. Yeah. Because they're all mates, aren't they, from the same universe? Do you know what his name is? What? Nigel. Nigel Lobster. Why Nigel? It's just his name. You got a problem with his name? No. Don't upset Nigel, man. Oh yeah. It's nice and warm in here. <laughs> Let's just stay in here instead of riding, mate. When you came in and I was outside looking at these things, I was just like, you bastard, why am <laughs> I not going first? You would have stood there and you would have been like this. I'm doing that now. We've got 90k to go though, we've done, we've done well. It's not vanilla. Yeah, less than 90k, you're right. Uh, I'm going to be buzzing. Buy one get one free coffee. What do you do? do, you give, what do, you do with the other one when it's buy one get one free? Genuinely. I found something you like. <laughs> buy them all. They fit in your pocket. Must be about three minutes, it? I was actually planning on using this stop to answer some of your questions from yesterday's video, but it's really, really cold. We just want to plug away, so we'll do it back when we hit the motel later. <laughs> Got under 90 k's to do. It's chilly, same road, that way. How much quicker do you think road tyres are? Two or three k. Mm. I don't know if it's just placebo. I think actually it's obviously 90, they're quicker. 90, it's probably a kilometre quicker. Like, in all honesty, we're riding. A relative, a pretty fast road tyre, but we're also riding them tubes. Also carrying all the tubes. <laughs> we're carrying five tubes as well. <laughs> Balances out, doesn't it? Yeah, it probably does. I don't believe it. First time in two and a half weeks. It's not straight on. It's not straight on. It's left. How do you turn left? Robe is that way, but Robe Brewery is that way. It's a lie. Malacent. Malacent. Isn't That's that the bad witch from uh, Snow White? Malacent. I thought it was the way up Van 2. 
banging tunes in that car. Sean Paul. Still in the, the 90s ball. here. Shun the ball. <laughs> Making fun of it. I fucking play this is just as bad. into a headwind but we've been on smaller and smaller roads progressively through this ride we're now on an absolutely stunning sort of country lane with farms either side loads of cows around loads of sheep way less traffic on the whole and uh nearly at our destination we're both pretty tired though because well it's been 240ks on a positive note our motel is next door to a chinese restaurant bit of a change from pizza chinese chris you happy they're gonna do pizza mate i hope so been riding so long the bluetooth speakers run out of battery the wahoo's run out of battery Chris has run out of battery. Should be illegal to do over 200 k's. Hey! Boys. So what? as a lady dropped this off for us. <laughs> and it's too heavy to lift up. What? <laughs> <laughs> so this is a note that says from Porsche and Malachi. Some lovely people have sent us a care package of all of our favorite items. Snakes. Dinosaurs. Sour Patch Kids. These are the freeze edition, hardcore. Fruit, actual fruit. Vanilla Coke. <laughs> that is bonkers. Thank you so much. Right, I've got a feeling today's video might be shorter than usual because we were, well, riding into a headwind and quite preoccupied. Wanted to answer some of your questions that you put on the last video. So that's what I'm gonna do. This is from Heidi Jarvis. Do you know how many calories you've consumed versus how many burned during your trip? Uh, did you have a nutrition plan before leaving the UK? Love following your epic journey. Thank you very much. The Wahoos have like a vague estimate of how many calories you've burned, but it's not right. It's safe to say that we've been burning a lot more than we've been consuming. It's just impossible to eat enough food. We've been losing loads of weight. I don't have a nutrition plan when I'm at home. Are you still working with Will? No, I don't have to do it all. I mean, we're not doing a race or anything like that. We are just riding and enjoying it. So we're eating when we're hungry. Trevor asks, what aperture do you usually film at? This is for photography people. This lens goes down to 2.8. I'm always at 2.8. I adjust the exposure using the shutter speed. HDD TTTR. How did you decide the route? It sounds kind of awful to be honest. It's almost like you've done the same ride every day for the past two weeks. For me, this has been far more interesting and exciting than riding any big calls. Way better than riding the Pacific Coast Highway. Way better than any rides in Calpe. It's the challenge, the excitement you have when you're not sure if you're gonna be able to carry enough food with you. Are you gonna make it to the next restock point? The challenge in weather, the headwinds, all of that. That's what makes the ride interesting for us. It's a bit like back when we did Project USA and everyone was saying how great the Pacific Coast Highway was and it turned out to be the most boring part of the trip. Death Valley, which is an empty road, that was fun, that was exciting, and that's the bit that we'll remember forever. Have you guys been struggling with cramp? Any top tips to combat it? Uh, today's the first day that either of us have had cramp. You've got a bit of cramp in your leg, haven't you? Sometimes it's just a case of overuse, but we have been avoiding it by drinking electrolyte drink. The stuff we've been using is from Enovit, one of our sponsors. If you don't have access to that sort of thing, then put a bit of salt in your drink. 95% of what you lose through sweat is sodium. Gerald asks, how many Ks to go? Too many. Joff asks, what are the jackets you're wearing? They are both samples of the new Atticus winter range that hasn't been released yet, but that will be eventually um, atticus.cc. Was it ever a problem bringing your bikes to a hotel room? Asks Lucas. Today nearly was. I was getting funny about it. They're on the balcony, but they're gonna be moved inside as soon as it's night time. Alistair says, wouldn't your life have been so much easier if you just rode the other way? Yeah, I've been so unlucky with the headwinds. It's like this time of year, usually that direction, but it's been in our face. How's the wind wax holding up? Uh, really good actually. The rainy day is the only time we had to reapply the wax. Um, we have run out of wax off now, so kind of gonna have to make do. What was the go with all the stuffed animals in the trees? They were just drop bears. That's how they deal with drop bears in Adelaide. Gonna end today's video now. Thank you as always for watching. And I'll see you tomorrow. Three left.